Good afternoon once again. Yeah. When Mali Mahalingam was talking about uh, HR fraternity and schizophrenics in the HR fraternity or not to become a schizophrenic, I asked Pallab next to me, he was sitting next to me, I said, Pallab, you've been in HR and you've done a PhD. How did you manage without becoming a schizophrenic? <laughs> Truly, but honestly, I mean, staying in HR, managing thousands and thousands of people and all the issues that come up to you as a HR head, and yet trying to do a PhD from XLRI. Oh boy, he certainly has a lot of patience and a lot of intelligence too. And well, uh, I don't know, in the photographs I saw a lot more hair. Is that what the students have done to you? It gives me great pleasure to, to uh, felicitate Pallab Bandopadhyay. Pallab has been a pillar for us in this institute. He's currently the, uh, the Director of Human Resources at uh, Citrix. Uh, he's, done, he's an executive coach, leadership facilitator, cross-border m and uh, facilitator. I mean, just before this uh, seminar, I was talking to him and I asked him whether he's, he's moving from the HR role to becoming an expert in m and because tonight, He's flying out to the U.S. to acquire one more company, I mean, one more feather in his, in his hat. Uh, a visionary leader, conceptually very, very sound and articulate and is very intuitive in his leadership style. His dedication to the profession and industry is unquestionable. This is what some people who worked with him have said. They go to the extent of qualifying, perhaps, to say that he is perhaps one of the best HR professionals in the country at the present. During his work experience with companies like Saskin Communications, Cambridge Solutions, Perot Systems, Dell Perot Systems, he has managed several transitions. Transitions of acquisitions, rapid growth, divestments, etc., etc. Malingam talked about moving away from HR agenda to business agendas and I think both of these super fine professionals have done just that. And they believe that the HR ag agenda is also part of their job. I mean, it's, you know, I do not know if you remember an ad which said uh, Tata Steel, we also make steel, you know. So here I think uh, both these fine gentlemen, they manage businesses and they also manage the HR uh, fraternity. Such transitions very often come with uh, very high pressures on the employees. Uh, and I'm sure most of this EMBA batch, which is comprising of software engineers, know about the pressures that come with such transitions. And especially when the Wall Street uh, asks for uh, growths of quarter and quarter of over 50%, and 48 is not acceptable. The Human Resources Department has to prepare the employees for such pressures and for such journeys. Pallab has risen to the occasion time and again to meet such challenges. You will always find a smile on Pallab's face. And I thought I, I deciphered how he has that smile on his face, 24 bar 7. And the only solution I found or, or the only, only reasoning I could see the, for that smile on his face, 24 bar 7, was I thought when he was born, God stuck an expression on his face and said, Son, be happy for life. <laughs> he embodies the qualities of resilience, honesty and integrity. For him, team recognition always, team success always came before personal glory. A true hallmark of a leader. So, at the Institute, we are indebted to you for all the support that you have extended to us. You offered us, you made us look big in terms of being an institute, though we are just two, three years old. Thanks to you and Malingam, I think this institute has now ranked third in South, and very often, very soon we shall be third, all India, I guess. And we, we will be giving a tucker, as they say, to SIV and Pune. Don't let Pune hear this. Uh, I'm also on the board there, so. <laughs> But I'm Bangalore, Namuru, Bangalore, so you know, I can't help it. <laughs> Sir, please accept our token of uh, love and warmth from the students and from the institute. <laughs>